Fail big. That's right. Fail big. 40 years ago, March 27th, 1975, it was 40 years ago, uh, just this past March, I was flunking out of college. I had a 1.7 grade point average. I was sitting in my mother's beauty parlor and I'm looking in the mirror and I see behind me this woman under the dryer and every time she looked up, she every time I looked up, she was looking at me, just looking me in the eye. And I didn't know who she was, and I said, you know, she said, somebody give me a pen, give me a pencil, I have a prophecy. March 27, 1975, she said, boy, you are gonna travel the world and speak to millions of people. Now mind you, I was flunked out of college. I'm thinking about joining the army. I didn't know what I was gonna do, and she's telling me I'm gonna travel the world and speak to millions of people. Well, I have traveled the world, and I have spoke to millions of people. But that's not the most important thing, the success that I had. The most important thing is that what she taught me and what she told me that day has stayed with me since. Dreams without goals are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams but have goals, life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances and understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday and this a few days. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. You've heard the saying, we don't plan to fail, we fail to plan. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. Remember that, just because you're doing a lot more, doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. Don't confuse movement with progress. Put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things, everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift.